Hey, I'm with my, I'm here with my friend, Alan. Hello, Alan. Hello, Karen. How are you, my darling? Good, it's been good days oh. for you lately, is not it? Yeah, we finally got some warmer weather here. Yes, it feels like spring's on its way, doesn't it? But now I hear tomorrow at 7 in the morning, we're supposed to be getting uh, 7 inches of snow by 7 o'clock that night. Well, what, you mean it's really warmed up, but actually you're going to get snow? Yeah, it's, it's going up towards 20 degrees and then it's supposed to be 40 by Tuesday. Right. But tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, we're supposed to get seven or eight inches of snow. Oh. Nice. Do you think you will? I don't know. <laughs> well, I hope you don't. I don't like snow. I mean, when you're a kid and you're about four, it's probably lovely. But I don't know, as I've grown up, have, got older, just heard, snow is a problem. Have you heard what's going on in Texas? No. Well, they got all kinds of snow. They got freezing weather. Their power went out, so people have been out of power for a few days. That's crazy. I mean, you know, like Texas is a lot hotter than us. We haven't had that kind of winter. Well, yeah, they, te te Texas normally never gets any snow. Wow. So, so you know, they're using harp and whatever yeah. other weather instruments they're controlling. Yeah. Making, making, making chaos, making it hard for people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's weird. Mm, well, I, I remember a few years ago, you remember that all that cold weather came down, right down to Florida, and you're like, people were holding towels out and they were freezing. I was like, uh -huh. wow, I've never heard of them before. I remember when I graduated from high school back in 1978, we had a winter snowstorm, uh, probably like, 12 inches or better, 14, who knows, but it was a lot of drifting, a lot of, a lot of snow. Hmm. Where was that again? Uh, in Wisconsin. Right. Hmm. Anyway, I asked to have a hangout with you because something, well, good for you and good for other people happened. Well, you did it. Um, yeah. You, you you tell them, Alan. It's your story. And what? It's your. I don't mean. Yeah. It's your. It's your. What happened to you? The court. Oh, thing. in the court. Yeah. In the court. Yeah. Well, I was at a bar, and I f I fell asleep in the ch in a chair. The next thing I know is I'm being handled and and groped and. and and then they took me to jail, charged me with resisting arrest, disorderly conduct. Well, a couple of not nice charges. Alan. And I, Sorry, Alan. I just, Alan, two seconds. Me and me and um, James have got yogurts. We're just taking our yogurt tops off. Carry on now. Uh -huh. I didn't want to talk. I didn't want that going over your talking. Carry on then. Yeah. And so I battled with them for a year, a whole year. I had brought up some uh, things to them that they claimed they didn't know nothing about in the uh, legal system. So I had to send them a 30-page presentation on the Justinian deception. And they really didn't comment, say much about it. They just kept trying to do their normal of uh, trying to get me to plead, plead to something. But I, I refused. And so... The DA told the administrator that we're at a stallmate, and so they they said they were gonna drop the charges. But before they said that, her and the the, the administrator and the DA were talking back and forth, and they, she, the, 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 they they mentioned that they should have my have me evaluated. But they said, oh, we're not going to do that. that we'll just that dro drop horrible. the charges. That's yeah, horrible. well, I didn't say a word, you know. I just held my tongue 
until the very end. And then, and then I said, well, I want you to know that I have full awareness of my mind and everything that I've given you was the absolute truth. You can look it all up in your law books. It's all in the Bible. And you want to have my mind evaluated, well, you better have this court system evaluated on the language it's using, on the documentation. You got two languages going on. That's enough to drive you mad, isn't it? He said, yeah, and, and, and the lady, she was, uh, the administrator was a lady, you know, and she, she said, well, yeah, I don't know not too much, very much about Latin. And I said, well, that's your legalese. It's dog Latin. It's ancient Latin without the hyphen because you removed the hyphen now and you've got it on this documentation, all caps lettering, mixed with English, and you're making grammatical errors. Mm. And she said she don't, she agreed with me, she don't know much about this Latin. Mm. So I don't know what so that, And so that was the other and so that's what's the end of it, you know, they dropped the charges. Because mm, they don't know what they're doing, do they? No, because I, I told them from the start I who I was, that I wasn't that all caps word mark. That I was the creditor, the beneficiary of the trust, not the debtor. Because, because the state is the agent to that word mark. That's because... You're a common law man, and they're only trying That's to deal right. with you as a Na corporation. Natural, natural, natural yeah, and law. They just want you as corporation. Also, they got right. to, you bring the, the law of the sea on the law on on the law of the land. Um, because all these things, I'm sure it's, um, well, you must be familiar with about. Um, is is the judge operating under his oath on that day, and all these things that they. But it, from what you said, it's interesting. It seems like the within their profession they're compartmentalized it's the same as everything else um they don't the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing at that level it's way above them um but they rely on us being ignorant and being appointed a ward of court which is basically you're an imbecile <laughs> right, so right. how long did it take before they dropped the charges then alan well it went on for, for a whole year but there was um, at least five different five different times that I had to uh, the first time I had to appear in court, and then this COVID hit, so it was all done on telephone after that. Wow. The first time I established who I was, what that language was on the documentation, and right away she adjourned it. Mm. Wow. I, I stripped I strip, I, I stripped that mask right off her face that first day, her uh, admiratory law of the sea. Excellent. And then she wanted me to get together with the DA and settle it because because the, the second time we uh, I appeared, I, I said, well, I'd like to get back to where we left off with the language on the documentation and she and, and the lady judge said, well, I'm not going there. <laughs> she said, you, you get together with and settled this. I said, okay. So that was the end of that. Did and then think, I got together with him. Did you think that was going to happen, Alan? I, went, I, went, I went into all this detail with him on this language. He said he didn't know nothing about it. So I sent him a 30-page presentation on the Justinian deception and how it ties in with the Bible, the Old Testament, how it was all done away with. Fabulous. And... He, he did, they didn't, want, they didn't want to comment on it. He said, well, what he can do is you ch plead guilty to one of the charges and we'll say time served. And at that time, I, I thought, well, okay, I can handle that. So he sent me all these documentations with all this, all caps and lettering, English with English again, and I looked at it and looked at it, and I said, no, I can't do this. I can't sign this. I can't send. So I... I waited until the next court date and told them what happened, that I couldn't, no, I can't do this. And then they set up another court date, and I talked to the DA in between again, 
and told him why I couldn't do this. And he said, okay, we're at a stallmate. He just, he just wanted to know where I stood. And then the last time I called is when they finally dismissed all charges. They found out they couldn't go nowhere. I wasn't budging. And I knew what was going on. There was nothing else they could do. Fantastic. And also, wasn't there something else? Like, they asked you if you wanted to get a solicitor, and you didn't. Yeah, they wanted to have my mind evaluated, but <laughs> they said they weren't going to do that. They said that We're not going to do that. They were just saying that to make them look good, I think. Yeah. Intimidation tactics. Yeah, yeah. And to make me look like I'm, I'm nuts. And try and drag it out, so say, like, yeah, okay, then and fall for the first trick. That they're trying to right. with getting you to say, yeah, I accept, the, I accept that I'm guilty, when you're not. Right. Because when I was talking to the DA the last time, he said something about esoteric knowledge. I said, well, hey, you said you didn't know th nothing about it because I had to send you that 30-page presentation on it. I told him, I know more esoteric knowledge than anybody in this whole county. Sounds like they do know, but they're just trying to play in their right, own right. Tricks. Yeah, they they know, but they're just acting stupid. Yeah. Well, they can't say nothing about it anyway because they'll be incriminating themselves. Oh yeah. <laughs> but an, an interesting one is trying to get a passport without committing fraud and go to any copyright, right. any lawyer that uh, specialises in copyright, and put that question: How can I have t apply for a passport without committing fraud? And it's interesting to see how they try and get out of answering that. <laughs> yeah, I would. I, if I could do, if I could do this whole thing over again, the first day I would, uh, I would ask for the forms for uh, pressing charges on uh, this um, documentation fraud, language identity theft. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh... So a triumph then, Alan. Yeah. Right. It's a, it's a, it's a brilliant. Um... Brilliant sort of example to everybody else to sort of stand your ground because they have no right. power. No, um, they don't. They, All they, you got to say to them is, where are your capitals coming from? Yeah. Where do you get your capitals? Yeah. Uh, did they answer that or did you get no answer? No, no answer. I say the same way when I said to bring out your, law, your Black's Law Dictionaries and your 16th edition Chicago Styles Manual that explains about this uh, sign language you got going on. <laughs> they don't want, want to comment on that either. They, they can't, can they? <laughs> no, they can't. Quick, he's noticed something. Drop the charges. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is it. It's um, They rely on in keeping us in ignorance or making it appear to be too difficult to, to get through. But, uh, yeah. It, 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 I had him in check. I had him in checkmate the first day and kept him there the whole throughout the whole game. Excellent. That is, that's, um, that's, it kind of it kind of made me laugh when I heard the the, the lady judge administrator say uh, about going to that language. She said, "I'm not going there." <laughs> <laughs> So you must be like doubly relieved because a the charges aren't there anymore and you cut you won. Right, right. So a double bonus. There's very little actually they could do to you in the future because they know what they're going to come up against now. She kept trying to get me to get a lawyer, you know, and I kept telling her, no, "I'm my own lawyer." Yeah. I said, well, "All so lawyers are for the we bar." Don't, we don't mess with Alan then. No. No. Um, I told him I, I stood. I stand. I, I told him. I told him I stand over you on this knowledge. They didn't like that either. <laughs> the thing is, I mean, you just got to ask yourself: Well, who's the lawyer going to be working for, really? Who's paying his wages? That's right. And they don't work for us. They work for the courts. They're just playing a part. One plays the uh, executioner. One play, plays the. Uh, now, James, isn't there an amendment to the Constitution that says that no lawyer shall hold public office? Um, I'm not familiar with that. Is, is that the 
the US Constitution. I mean, I don't know with the situation with the UK on that either, but um, I, probably there must be something in there. Yeah, because lawyers are working for the Crown Bar of London. Yeah. They should be able, they should be able to hold a office of the Constitution. They're doing treason because they took the because they're working for the bar. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm. Funny how they all have to come to London and cross the bar, which is a reference to the sea, the sandbar, the law of yep. the sea, and then because you go in the dock. <laughs> and I got all this, all this knowledge come from uh, Ramley Stewart. He's from Australia. He, he's the just in the interception center, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, him and his friend. He's got a friend that does videos with him. Yeah, I've seen some of his work. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, he pointed out with the Queen and her oath, um, in sincerity instead of in all sincerity. Right, right, right. And so legally, that can be understood in a very different way from. Yeah, and it, 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 it excludes everything, everything out, out of it. I mean, it, it seems obvious that any speech that the Queen would make would be finely checked. And word perfect for for that to to miss out that word all says that that's not been mi missed out. That's not a mistake. She's actually saying right. the truth. And it's the terms the the terms that the that the master's using. The people don't know what the terms of the words mean. Yeah, it's listening carefully to what they're saying. It, it's like if, if in this country, if you're arrested, they they will say. You have the right to remain silent, but anything you do say yep. will be you can and will be used against you. That doesn't say can and will be used in your defence. That's right. So it's all word magic. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's totally mind control witchcraft. Yeah. Well, you've got a, you've got it shown right there with the the judge. You've got a wolf in sheep's clothing with that sheepskin. Yeah, headpiece it, it, and the black robes, the gavel. I can't remember the super yep. significance of that, but that's got a, a ritual aspect Sat to that. Saturnalian Brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah. So, and all that stress is gone now as well. Yeah. Were you, were you, was it that you were, did you think it was going to, like, that was going to happen, or did you, did you think, oh, I'm going to do this? But well, I, 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 I had confidence, so, yeah, I figured sooner or later they're going to have to, uh, just, I, you know, I'm, I was curious what they were going to do, how were they, how were they going to, you know, deal with this? Because the further they get, the more exposed it's going to be. So I was, yeah, I was already waiting. I don't care how you, how you want to go at it. <laughs> hmm. Let's get it in the paper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, we won't want that in the paper. Because let's let's put it in the news here. What's going on? Hmm. They, they don't want to, they don't court, want to... Court, system, court system getting exposed. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's even down to the question of what type of court is it? as well is it a, a crown court is it a, a common law court um what 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 court is it and what laws are they operating operating under yeah as opposed to what they're implying <laughs> it's all crazy well i mean yeah a solicitor they're soliciting that's prostitution yep. Pirate, pirateering yeah in, in, in piracy is a crime. Yeah. So you know they're they're violating all kinds of all all kinds of crimes. Yeah. It's um it's been shown. Um, I was listening to a friend on a, on another channel. He's the taxi drivers in London have been up in arms with all these road closures, and the judge ruled that the mayor has got the mayor of London has got to remove them. Of course, it hasn't happened. So. Doesn't matter what the judge rules when it's when it's the system, they they're still going to do what they want to do. It's they're operating totally illegally in, it, in right. every aspect of our lives. So, but they keep very quiet about that part. 
Yeah, they kind of worded it worded it in, in court in a way because I asked the, the, the lady judge if she was able to look at that presentation I sent the DA because I would honor it for them to show the, the administrator this. And she said, yeah, she kind of got to see it, but she didn't really want to comment, you know. Yeah. Because it, it, that's showing them all, the whole presentation is showing them the knowledge I have against them, you know. They knew exactly what they were up against. Sorry, just dropped you, Alan. Sorry. I've got my bum in James's face. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. No, James had my bum instead. <laughs> I, just, I just got maybe second. It's it's the it's sort of not just the courts. It's everything when they talk about free range eggs. All that means, as far as the industry is concerned, is they've let the chickens out, and that's probably the first time they've seen daylight for about ten minutes before. Um, it's all over. Um, you've you've got um, things not appearing in, in ingredients on products, and it's they're they're claiming it's part of the process, so it doesn't appear as an ingredient. So right. they're, they're so sneaky in everything they do. It's it's you, you've got to be wise as serpents with, with yeah. every time, every step of the way. Uh, it, it, it's the sad, sad part of it is these these people that go to police academy to become police officers, yeah. and now they're indoctrinated into this. Yeah, you know, and they're going out there doing this stuff. Well, the the, the police, the either thing. they know what they're doing or they they're is totally it, inter, ignorant on it, and they need to be woken up on it because sooner or later they're going to have to make a decision of who they stand with and stand for. Yeah, I I got I got asked um, last year um, at this police officer um, came up to me, I wanted to know if I'd heard anything about um, a, a domestic incident that, that actually happened 12 years previous, 12 hours previous. And I said, excuse me, I said, who are you? And he said, I'm special officer. I said, oh, you're an officer, so that means you work for a corporation. I said, I, I have nothing to say to you, and I turned my back on him. <laughs> right. But, I mean, just ask them to ask them say are you operating under your oath and ask them to actually recite their oath and and i think you'll find most of them don't even know it yeah but see we yeah we we, we stripped three masks off the the, the judges and yeah. so that now they're standing there equal to us yeah and they have no authority over us that's it well it's only only the only power they have, have over us is what they trick us into giving them that's right or making us believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all a make right. believe. Yeah, cause see, I did. I I, I had committed no crime. The no. the police officers came to the bar. This is what it said in the police report that she came to the bar and the, and the bartender pointed to a man leaning against the bar. He won't leave. And so the police officer started talking to him, and I ignored her. And she and then she gave me an order to leave the bar. So I. Didn't respond, but I started walking to the door, to, and as, as I was going through the doorway, she said something else to me. I did not respond, and then she grabbed me. Yeah. So then she, that's right there in her own words that she assaulted me, yeah. and all this disorderly conduct comes after she, she touched me. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a lot of open admission to the, they're in the wrong. By rights, I should have. Press charges on that police officer for assaulting me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's uh, interesting the way things are going. The more people sort of hear about this sort of thing and think, oh, right, start looking into it. Um, knowledge is power, in, definitely in this case. Yeah. Well done, Alan. Mm. It's fantastic. This has turned out to be a brilliant day. Oh, you've made James's day, Alan. Yeah. Well, this the more the more positive signs, the more positive testimonials, the more it lifts all our spirits, and we we change the balance of things. We change the balance of power. Mm. They do not have power over us. It's the illusion. There's more of us as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, 
This is Robert Forsch with the this is, this Truth Network. Forsch. I've got some very important... He's gone now. Sorry, Robert. Don't mean to cut you off. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased because uh, you were quite chuffed telling me that bit the other day, wasn't it? I've tried to be, have a hangout with you yesterday about it, but we've got to today. So you must be um, yeah. feeling quite good. So don't mess with Alan. Next time that they, if they mess with me like that, next time I'm going to start pressing, I'm going to start serving papers and pressing charges. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you make videos at all? Uh, just a couple, few, few little ones I've made. I was going to say, this, this would be a brilliant um, topic for, for people to... I have trouble with, the, if I play a video... When I'm going live on Facebook, it doesn't want to pick up the sound very well sometimes. Uh, Half of the video, you can't hardly hear it, and then all of a sudden, it, it's playing perfectly, so I don't know what's going on. That's, um, that's them playing silly nonsense again, probably. It's all probably to get a, a negative reaction out of you, make you feel angry. and Right, right. Censoring me. Yeah. I mean... It, it's, it's not, it, they don't have to burn books anymore. They, it's just a push of a button and change it. I mean, and most things on Wikipedia, if, if you to go and look at them and see when they've been updated, it's always sort of within the last month or so. It, and it's like, what are they? They they're, change, they're rewriting history right under our eyes on these screens. Yeah. Same as Google Earth. Yeah. They, they keep updating those. Um, all these continuous updates for the phone and. It's like we either agree to the terms and conditions of their updates or you get locked out of the system. You can't use yeah. this or you've got to buy a new product. They make them obsolete on purpose, so you've got to go buy another one. It's all done, all by design. Yeah, Puppet Master is pulling the strings. Yeah, <laughs> very much. But it's like the, it, well, it's like the Wizard of Oz. It looks terrifying, but it's just an illusion. <laughs> We, we've got to learn how to cut the strings so the puppet masters don't have the control. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the, the, the problem we're up against is they tr they've sort of made the infrastructure with sort of daily living, getting obtaining food, um, which right. relies on earning money. <laughs> um, it's, it's, they've made it as difficult as possible to break out the system. Well, we've, we've allowed them to control all the corporations and, and that controls all the food and every everything of our aspects of our life yeah yeah very much unfortunately but it's not too late it, the tide is definitely turning well that's that old saying never too late yeah um it's about time the tide went out <laughs> yeah um, and took these this law of the sea and the sea people with them. <laughs> you know, if we can, if we can get the church to wake up and get the people in the that are holding these offices to wake up, yeah, it would be a great, would be a great start. Well, I, I think, I think there are glimmers of, of hope with this because I think the the lower levels, the councillors, um, and and the volunteer, and some of the volunteer positions in the lower levels, like teachers and things, are, the the pe and even some of the like the millionaire class, they're realizing that they're they're in the same boat as us, and um, right. It it's just this. It's it's the same with I mean Rachel L now, who used to be on a program called Dragons Den. She's a businesswoman. She she's sort of lost everything. Um, th this system is looking for the top one percent of businesses. Um, I think she said in the first five years or first two years. There's a, a huge percentage actually fails. They're looking to cream off the the very top, the things where they can speculate and make the most money. The rest they don't care about. So there are a lot of people who are businessmen, or, or I mean, small businesses are, are the ones that are being assaulted. The cafes, the bars, the restaurants, and things, um, the independent traders. So it's in their interest to be on our side on this, because um, we're not their enemy. Mm. <laughs> it, it's um, it, it's terrible. I mean, because 
the ramifications, I mean, you've got a small business, uh, some of them will have employees, which they're then having to lay off. That's, in, in, that's increasing the numbers of unemployment and then dependent on the state for benefits and things as well. So it's in everybody's best interest to sort of realise that they're being played. With, and it's got dire that's, consequences. See, that's the hard part. Yeah. Is these 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 people that have been do indoctrinated for so long. Yeah. It's so hard. It's so hard for them to come out of it. it it's fi it's finding it's finding the right topic to talk to people. The the, the things that are impacts them most. So, I mean, if I was talking about NASA and say, well, who's paying for all this? It, you, you you don't get a say. It's it's the money they're taking off you that you're funding with this. But did right. they ask you? Um, what do you get? What are we getting back in return? A load of sci-fi films and, a, and a, a crappy story and a piece of moon rock. That's not worth the millions and billions no. that they've extracted with that fake story. And then, then it begs the question of what are they really doing with that money? What 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 is that a cover story for? Because, Their media and stuff. Oh yeah, but when it's we, when we're talking billions of dollars and things, and I mean even the world, this thing about. Oh, there's a world debt. Well, my question is, with any utility bill, you get a red final demands. Well, okay, if there's a world debt, can somebody present the bill so we can see who it's payable to? Oh no, they won't expose themselves. They won't. They want the money, but they don't want to let you know who who it's allegedly owed to. Well, yeah, NASA. You know, they get fifty million dollars a day to operate. Yeah, I mean, and what? What, as as a as a business model, what 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 are you getting back for that fifty million a day? Yeah, what what evil are they using that fifty yeah. million a day for? Yeah, it's definitely well, whatever it is. All I know is it's not in our best interests. No. So it's um. They're using that fifty million to tighten tighten the grip on us a little harder. Yeah. Yeah, it's just squeeze a bit more, squeeze a bit more, get blood out of a stone. And all these cities are are computer are built as a computer board. Yeah. Well, the tactic they seem to be using is if we can't move you into cities, we'll build more houses around you and we'll make another yeah. city. <laughs> but this is the thing, doesn't matter whether you live in the countryside or a built-up area, we're all in a city, it's called scarcity. Well, yeah, and then they got the cell towers... Money. And they, they put these cell top towers in everywhere, yeah. and that's what's that's what that's what's going to be uh, in control over us is these cell towers. Well, the trouble is, most people are distracted by this fear of they might catch this thing that doesn't even exist. Right. <laughs> so, well, yeah, and, then, and they're going to use and, it, and it's all covering up five G. What that's going to be doing to us? To me, all this says is it smacks of sheer desperation that they've got to do all this at the same time because they're running out of time. I think they know this as well, and I hope they're listening in. Um, yeah. Because they're the ones that are in fear of exposure. I mean, you start going down that route of selling out. You, you're now living in a gated community. You're fearful of someone stealing your possessions. You're fearful of somebody else that's going to try and take it away from you. I mean, what an awful way to live. Right. Even, even at the, shall we say, the more human aspects of it, um, without going into the more depraved aspects. But um, I'd, rather, I'd rather have nothing and, and, and live with, without being in fear. Um, it's like a great weight of the world off the shoulders. Right. Because... They're trying to squash us down in every possible way. Um, in some ways, you could say we're like At Atlas, but it's like let go of the ball <laughs> as well. <laughs> yeah, they've got us. They've got us in a spin. Yeah, yeah, they got us in a spin with the ball spinning theory yeah. <laughs> and and the and bail worship. Yeah, well, it's a, it's funny how that. I mean. It, to do with courts, you can, you can be released on bail. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's a racket. Yeah. 
Well, it's a court, isn't it? Like a tennis court. Yeah. You're, you're the ball being yeah, bounced right. backwards and forwards between the prosecution and every, the defense. And everything I said to them was an ace. Yeah. <laughs> they, could, they couldn't retrieve it. Excellent. <laughs> It's brilliant, really good. Oh, I had a lot of time thinking, thinking it out. That's uh, that, that is wonderful news. That really is. That's that has made my day. <laughs> yeah, and I did it. I did it all without any lawyer. That's the thing, because they work for them. <laughs> that's right. That's, the, that's I've got the some. Reception. I've got some friends around here. My sister's husband. He was surprised that I even got them to dismiss it like that. It gives people hope. I mean, I mean, straight away in courts, it's yep. shown there, you've got a defence lawyer and a prosecution lawyer, but it, it's playing two sides because they work, both work for the same organisation. Well, I told them there ain't going to be no legalese here. No. No sorcery. <laughs> I ain't going to be, I ain't going to be used as a pawn to summons the dead. Yeah. That's the other thing. I mean, a summons. You can't summons the living. Uh, you know, I said, I said to him, I said, I'm the credit, I'm the creditor, I'm the Christ. Yeah. I claim, I, I claim, I, I claim Kingsman on the land, and I claim this chambers as part of my kingdom. Wonderful. That really is. Wonderful. I told him I run this. So you, I said you, you can look at all your, all your. Spell books, your 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 codexes, your canons. They're all spells. Yeah, that's wonderful. That, 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 is, that is absolutely wonderful. I, I don't think you'll end up backing. I don't think they want to see you again. Actually, I think I no. think say if it's if that name comes up, we don't want to know. <laughs> no, they don't want to have no business with me. No, that's um, that's that's a real victory. That's a you're an inspiration to us all. I think I think everybody needs to do the same thing. Yeah, definitely. Claim cl claim their their Christ creditor birth certificate. Yeah. Get their name, get that all caps name off off off, off of everything, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming on and talking to us about that, Alan. I thank you too. It's good and to thank hear you, from, friend. You know, you're part of our community, and it's good to hear that you managed to do, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's good. Yeah, I was probably the only one that's ever done it in my county. Well, brilliant. Well, well, how does it feel? What's it feel like to be a first? <laughs> Top of the class. Feels good. He's yeah. a first. It does. It feels good. He's a first. It's like, it, yeah. it's like all my ten, 10 years of hard research is is uh, paying off. That is wonderful. That really is. Is um is there anything else that you want to say, Alan? What about a, a message for the for the people? For the people to uh, to do some research and 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 get some knowledge of what what this system is all about that's about right isn't yeah it? yeah it is it's the system because it's, it's, it's the beast it. system it's totally the beast system the establishment well i mean i, I think I, I think a lot of the unanswered questions were fines once we've got rid of this obstacle um which is this system then the answers to everything else will, will just come because there won't be something saying you can't go there, you can't check that. Exactly. But yeah, I, th I think I think the speed that they're rolling everything out all at the same time, it's like a, a, a traveling circus putting on a final show. There's loads of sideshows, there's loads of distractions as well as the main event. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, humanity has been put in the crazy house and we're looking at distorted mirrors and a lot, and sadly a lot of people are believing this, this distortions are a true reflection. Yeah. 
they're not seeing that they're just illusions and, and they're exaggerations. Strangely with, or not so strangely really, with, with mirrors it's all about concave and convex and lensing and, and how uh -huh. it's refraction. <laughs> What's your thought, James, on on the concave flat Earth ball spinning? Um, no, I, I propose that we're actually on. If you view viewed an eyeball from the sides, that we're actually on the iris, and the firmament is the equivalent of the the lens of the eye. Um, I tried to come up right. with something that would sort of stop the arguments between the different beliefs in in shapes and things and, and focus on the system that is causing all this division um and ironically it was it was people who are claiming to be members of the flat earth society were the ones that were coming coming back with adverse comments and they were deli they were sort of saying but we're nothing to do with flat earthers and i thought well, that sounds ridiculous. You've got a flat earth society, you've got a community of people who are saying the earth's flat and you're not on the same side. Right. <laughs> um, that, that, to me, that didn't make sense. I didn't get any, any, nobody from hollow earth or um, concave earth or, or, or who believes that it were on a spinning ball came back with anything at me and, and attacked me. It was only the people claiming to be members of the Flat Earth Society, and I thought, the irony of it. <laughs> and all they're doing is discrediting it. Yeah, it's clear from their actions they're the controlled opposition. Um, right. Or I, I challenge anyone to prove me wrong on that one. So that's kind of telling you right there that there's something to the Flat Earth. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's, um, oh, it, you can you can see it. You haven't got to go anywhere. Um, well, all my research on it, I can just, I can, what I picture in my head on it, well, yeah, all water's level. Yeah. There's only one ocean. Where's the curve? Well, that, that would, well, the curve is the limit of how far you can, if, if you had an unobstricted. An, right, that's perspective. Yeah, you, 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 you'd see an equal distance, 360 degrees all around you. Yeah. Um. I mean, I'd say to people, it's 73 natural water level. Um, so, yeah, it's not exactly flat because you've got mountains, you've got right. valleys and things. So, yeah, it's not flat. But um, how do you explain the water then? <laughs> right, right. Because even on a ball or a concave, hmm. how can you have creeks and rivers flowing? Exactly. It, it's, it doesn't make any sense at all. No. No, don't. But I, I mean, I've, I've proved it um, in many ways to my satisfaction as far as, as far as the physical earth goes, because from Worthing on the south coast in the summer on a clear day, you can see the Isle of Wight. And it's probably about 50 miles. I, I've proved it going the other way from Worthing to um, going towards the, the east part of Sussex. Um, going towards Dover and, and, and the English Channel and that's about 25 miles and at, 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 when I'm on the beach I can see level across right so I mean the irony is that I, I mean this calculation on the curvature I don't think anybody really is familiar with that until they start looking into flat earth and and, and it, that right. just proves it I mean I I'd give them a little bit more benefit of the doubt if they said, okay, we admit we've got the figures wrong. But when it's, you can prove that their figures are wrong and they, they've they got no answer to that, that that's no. pretty much conclusive proof on that. I just seen the other day that they got this, this gun that shoots a bullet a thousand miles and hits the bullseye. Yeah. Anything laser guided as well has got to go in a straight line. Right, and if it's going a thousand miles in a straight line, yeah, and hitting the bullseye, where's the curve? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's, uh, it's incredible. It really is. Now, what do you think about? Now we know there's like what five, seven continents. 
that we know of. Okay, now, have, I've seen a map of the Chinese of a thousand years ago that's got 33 or so more continents out there. Oh, the Piri, Piri race map. Oh, the Piri Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I would, um, quite possible. Um, the, the fact that... And then it shows also, it shows also about that we're like in a puddle and then there's other puddles around us yeah. and then other puddles around yeah well the whole thing with the the idea of space they they're, they're trying to get you to accept some the idea of something that has no edge to it but um if it's a if, if it's a level plane and the first thing i say is well where's the edge well you're asking right. me to expect to accept the idea that there's no edge to space um so what's the difference yeah and then you think it was that we're on an infinite plane yeah with the answer to where's the edge it's it's well that's where you're going because you won't you you've got cognitive dissonance and you can't see what is playing the obvious right in front of you it's a, there, there it's is a, no there, there is no edge no there's a there's a, a horizon which, which, show, which right. is, the root word is horizontal it shares the same route. Right. <laughs> um, you've got sea level. You don't have sea curve. Right. <laughs> it, it, it's, there's, there's, there's no there's, arguments they can come back with, really. Well, yeah, there's certain words in the language that are standing out, red flags. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, There's certain words they just can't get uh, bypass. Well, it's it, 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 it's other things like um, people who say they've sailed round round the world. Yeah, they, they probably have east to west, but they've never gone north north or south and come back round again. Nobody has gone gone in a boat and said, right, I'm heading straight towards the North Pole. I'm going round the other side, past the South Pole, and coming back to where I started. They always go either east or west, go round. They're little actors. That's yeah. Right. Because, right. because you can't do it. It's no, because if you go if you go west, if you go west or east, you're just going in a circular circular direction. Yeah, that's it. But you can't go north south. <laughs> no. So even if you stand at the North Pole. And, and and you got four directions to go. What are those four directions? Mm. <laughs> it ain't west. It ain't east. It's all south. Yeah. Anywhere you go from north in a straight line, anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. In, in that circle, that three hundred and sixty. Yeah. You're going south. Yeah. You're going south. There's there's some other <laughs> ludicrous answers you get. Um, I think it was a guy in Australia. I I, I can't even remember the channel name. He, he wrote to the Australian um, Antarctic, whatever they are, and um, said, shouldn't there be 24-hour shadows around that flagpole, but you're cutting eight hours of film footage? And they said, you'll have to contact um, the United States because we send all our data to them. The answer that came back was, it's expensive to, to make the film footage, um, so we don't um, waste film when it's dark well hold on a minute it's supposed to be 24 hours of daylight so that does, that answer doesn't make sense at all then and then i, I actually happened to watch a, a program on on youtube it was nothing to do with flat earth or and um the shape of the antarctic or anything and right near the end of the program bearing in mind this is i think it, this was filmed in the january of whichever year it was they said we had to wait till eight o'clock in the morning for the sun to come up to start filming it's like well in january shouldn't it be 24 hours of daylight so why are you waiting for the sun to come up yeah so again it's a it's another dead giveaway yeah because i've been halfway um the sort of like the sort of going north uh, in sweden um in early July of 2016, I, I witnessed the sun going down behind a sort of mount, mountain range at half eleven at night. An hour later, it was coming back up the other side of it again, and it was like 23 hours of daylight. So, 
that side of things yeah but not in the south or the out at not if not if you go outwards is the probably the correct term right so you but it's funny, I, um, it's funny. I, 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 went, I went into this when I first heard of the idea of the flat earth. I thought it must be some group of people with some sort of medieval mindset. Oh, I disprove this easy. And the more I looked into it, I thought, actually, that's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. And the, the questions get stacking up and stacking up and there's no answers from, from the spinning ball model that can satisfy. Well, they can't even come up with answers. Yeah, the heliocentric. Yeah. This all, all about the seven planetary gods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, it's, again, why aren't we seeing totally different constellations over the years? Why, why throughout even the history that they give us, you've got Orion and yeah. the Plough and the Great Bear, they don't change. They just keep coming round and round. And Polaris, Polaris never moves. No. And, and, where, and where does this wobble? Yeah. Well, the polarity is the polarity, isn't it? <laughs> In fact, I I even say, I don't say the the Antarctic. I say the Antarctic because it's yeah. where they've turned things inside out, trying to take the land masses around the um, what would they would call the North Pole, and they're trying to make this artificial South Pole that doesn't exist. I mean, even that they right. say. Oh, we can't put the marker in its true position because there's nothing there. Well, I'm sorry, but you've managed to put it in the ice there. All the maps you show me show it's ice. What's the difference? Why can't you put the marker in its true position? Right. And they, they can't answer questions like that either. Um, the 33 other continents, well, it would be nice to be able to go there without being turned away before you can even get anywhere near. They're, they're well trained. In, in protecting the glitches. Yeah. Yeah. The, was it, I think it's the, the Royal New Zealand Air Force uh, patrol and keep people away. Yeah. But it's the same probably if you try and go to the center of the earth, that you probably get turned away. Yeah. Well, I'd like to say thanks for sticking up for your rights. Mm. Alan. Yep. Well, like I say, after doing all the research, I felt it was my honor to do so. <laughs> mm. But it's it's also a, a, a superb sort of uh, education for everybody. Sort of, the more effort you put in, like you've done ten ten years of research, the more effort you put in, the more you'll benefit from it, which you clearly have in this case. Right, right. And that sort of excuse the pun using the word in this case. <laughs> hmm. It's it's kinda like I I felt I had power and I let myself into that situation just to just to beat it. Yeah. Yeah. It's stepping into the unknown and, and who Right, who, who would do that, right? Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, you, you deserve a medal, as it were, but not. I went out. I went out and proved a point. Yeah, that's a victory for humanity. Sitting here with a big smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's 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 well, wonderful that's, news. That's, we we sure need that in this month with with all the things that are presented to us, all to, trying to get us fearful. Yeah. But it's well, yeah, because I mean that's all the police do is put you, put you in fear as soon as they put the lights on. Yeah. As soon as you see those lights come on behind you, your feet feel like they're on fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sort of. That's an enlightenment, definitely, an empowerment. Well, I've said before, M power is me power. It's the power of oneself. 
Well, now if everybody was driving cars and they had their guns on their side, those police would be pulling you over so quickly. Yeah. Well, one second. What were you saying, Alan? Well, I was telling James it was wonderful talking to him. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, it's uh, it, I, I, in some ways it's like I'm almost jealous, but I'm not jealous because it's we're not we're not on a, a different side. We're on the same side, so. Um, this is a thing I wish humanity would realise. They've got a clear and present danger that is working against all of us. See, now I wanted to say, uh, I do kind of see some of the ideas of the concave because we're in a ball, not on a ball. Yeah. We're in an egg. Yeah. And a lot of other things about it too kind of interests me yeah you know like the the tourist field yeah you know yeah. some of these other these ideas that that, that, that a friend of mine has well, like, i'm kind of you... like a kind of like a mixture of Alan, a kind Alan, kind we're, li we're, li uh -huh. we're living in it all i think i mean i don't promote his work anymore but for a few years we were into the square flat earth map but once we saw that Antarctica is much higher, behind Russia is lower, we're living in something that's convex, concave, and it's flat all in one. Yeah. That, that, that's what I was getting at. I, I feel that the definitive answer we can find once we've got rid of the system that is preventing us from finding it. Right. But yeah, this is this is a this is a war, a war this is like a war of the world, this is against humanity. Yeah, War of the um, Mind, yeah. Well, I, I was, it came to me earlier, I remembered the narration by Richard Burton, um, and it, it says, who would, he says in that, who would have thought our microscopic allies would get rid of the Martians? And it's like, that's interesting with what's, what's being rolled out, which everybody is most fearful of. They've sort of flipped that script in a way, you could say. Right. But um, maybe a clue in that as well. Maybe this is their Achilles heel. Um, when people start to think, hang on, this doesn't make sense. So when I'm sitting at a table in a restaurant, I don't have to have something where you, you couldn't get, you wouldn't better put food in your mouth. But but then when I go to the bathroom, I've, I've got to put this thing on to stand up. So does that mean that the thing is in some sort of stratosphere and if you're sitting down, it's not going to affect you. But as soon as you stand up, I mean, how ridiculous is that? Right. <laughs> oh, dear. That alone, it's... And then well, the, the, the it, official the official statistics and things released by the CDC and in the UK, it's it contradicts what the media says anyway. Yeah, especially when they're throwing that zoodle zoodle science at you. Yeah. All those things that you know you, you can't feel the Earth spinning. Well, with the UK, that it rested on the mathematical model of somebody in Cambridge that was their, their sort of justification for doing these lockdowns, and where it's like everything else, like the curvature. Sorry, the maths is wrong. <laughs> Completely right. wrong. But it, I think it was I think it was Cornwall. Um, this I can't even remember the population for the county, but um, it's sort of effectively so you've locked an entire county down of say just hypothetically seven thousand people for three cases. That's um, something doesn't seem right there that you're going to shut down businesses you're going to affect the economy for three people when there's thousands at stake hmm. yeah, they, want, they want to kill the thousand just for the three yeah same with the titanic they want to kill the three and they don't care if they kill the thousand i did say i don't mean to like interrupt there look you know like i've been finding you know that like we all know it but you know loads of things are wrong and the news isn't what they tell us they could have done the same with the titanic mm. they could have pretended there was a titanic always used the sister sh well what was called the sister ship then told us they'd sunk told us all this stuff because 
even Josh, who we had to hang out before, he said they didn't find any bones at all, mm. or yeah. like rings, or there was nothing right. like this they found. So they could have made that, pretended we believed it. We don't even. Yeah, know how many ho how many hoaxes have they pulled on us? You know. Yeah. yeah. Many. Um, I wouldn't even want to put a figure on that. <laughs> I think every it's day, day actually, Alan. Yeah. It's every day. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then you get all the um i believe the, i the, don't believe you get all the silly little tricks like with the month if you try and monetize and then they start messing around and basically the term... that's only the thing that i've watched the most james with the mm. adverts practically everything i went to had gambling on it yeah gambling the, why should um... why are youtube allowing that all the things they do and say, why are they allowing us to keep watching gambling ads and gambling ads and gambling ads? That's wrong. Well, their, their justification or their excuse will be, well, it does say on there, but in very small letters, um, gamble responsibly. That'll be their get out. Um, but basically anything in the system, terms and conditions is like, we do what we want we just say it goes against community standards or gives give you some equally vague answer to everything um it, it, and that's the way everything seems to operate these days yeah they control facebook so they're gonna put those fat checkers out there that <laughs> took and there's nothing we can do about it yeah well I I I do I'd quote that back, and if somebody said something to me, I'd say sorry. It's been fact checked and found to be false. Um, I don't have to. I I, I mean, people can assume that I'm. I mean, there's a team of people that are checking facts. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's because that's the way they play it on us. It's like when you're talking about Facebook and it goes against community stands. Well, whose community? It's not our community, clearly. There. It goes against. Yeah, it's their it goes. Policy. It goes against their policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But their, their policy their is po not. Their, That's their right. Policy. It's always against their policy. Yeah. Their po yeah, their policy of deception. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you're not allowed to be honest because that goes goes against. Not their only are they showing the deep fake, they've got adverts on it, which yeah. are deep fake. Yeah. But what gets me is what I experienced in, in Ohio is when you get an advert come up on the television for, for I don't know, say headache tablets, and it not only is, is there somebody narrating it, it actually scrolls across the bottom of the screen and says side effects, and, and normally what's listed as the first side effect is death. So why are people not seeing this? <laughs> right. Unfortunately, they are blind. Um, what's yeah, it, uh, years of indoctrination makes them blind. I mean, what, what's it cost when, to even see a doctor in the States? Because, like, I mean, I think it's about $50 before you even start um, when I was there. So I assume it would have gone up by now. That's without your prescription, your prescribed poison. Hmm. Well, is there anything else you'd like to say, Alan? Oh, just uh, thank you for having this uh, conversation. That's all right. Sharing with the community. Yep. And it's a really good piece of news. And well done for doing what you did. And on your own. Yeah. You never told me. Oh, it's nice to have it. It's a big, big public it, announcement. You never told me. I thought I had told you before what, what, what I was going through. Well, you might have mentioned it so long ago, and I'd just forgotten, but I don't remember it. But I'm really pleased for you, Alan. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's an inspiration to everybody. Definitely. And also, it meant we had to have another hangout, and I get Alan on the uh, microphone again, because you're not overly keen on it, are you? What's that? You're not overly keen on, like, well, we'll call it a no. hangout. You're, you're a bit shyer okay. person, aren't you? Yeah. And I nab him for a hangout. <laughs> well, it's, but he loves me, so some, Alan's, Alan's a good boy. If someone had said to me 20 years ago, Did you, do you know you'll be making sort of 
it's like an online public diary just talking to a camera i just said don't be so stupid there's no, no way would i No, do james that. loves it don't you james <laughs> well it, it it's all about get, getting a message out there i mean i was amazed it's like the experience of getting that ringing in the ears and sleepless nights and bed and night sweats and things and then when you start talking to people in facebook groups and things you find out you're not the only one and and it's like well if if we're all experiencing it what's causing it Let's get to the bottom of all I've got this. a good community, don't I, James? Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's a Full family. Full of lots of intelligent people. Well, it's, it's just... Most of them are more intelligent than me. Well, it's, it's not... In, it, knowledge is not intelligence, but it's just like... When, when you can see, it's like, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't add up. Then, And you start asking questions instead of just blindly accepting what we're told. Which exactly. more, and more, more and more just seems to be a lie. No, it's all a lie. Yeah. It's horrible because even when you think everything's a lie, you wake up and you realise even, you know, you've said everything, but even that's a lie. And that, it's like, oh my God, it's all just, it's all just horrible. It, it never seems to end. It's, it's cruel what they're doing. There's no aspect to our, our, our life of every minute of every day where we're not being assaulted through either radio frequencies, whatever's in the air what's in the food, what's in the water. It's a it's a continuous bombardment, but it also shows that we're pretty indestructible collectively anyway. So it's, it it shows we've got well, you gotta, we've got you gotta look at it you gotta look at it where they did the reset, they had children. Yeah. And then they children yeah. and then now they they're building a, a culture, teaching them the heliocentric model and all the lies. Yeah. No question. And now, after how many generations, we are starting to wake up to this. Yeah, it's um, it's it's amazing how many of us there really are. The, the irony is, it's only the it's only the system would actually know the true figure because um, most people there they subscribe to more than one channel, so you can't even really sort of get an accurate figure of what percentage of the world it, uh, is is awake and. Or aware and um, of something's wrong and I mean we don't even know if there are seven and a half billion people in the world there could be more there could be less have you ever seen those videos on the golden web no yeah, you told me about that um, uh, I, think you, I, think you guys, I think you need to see these uh, golden web there's uh, part one and two and three okay that's an, what, what's that actually about that's all about actually everything what's going on who's can doing it the words excellent yeah I'd, I'd, I'd like to see those okay well shall we um finish this hangout mm. and then you two okay. can talk about it for a minute alan for the this we'll say goodbye but thank you very much alan and well done thank you james thank you chat room thank you karen and, and it's um, been a pleasure to talk to you alan yeah, that's why I wanted to have yeah. the hangout. I like, I like a bit of power to the people. Yeah. yeah. Boy, I just, I just looked in the mirror and I got this big red lipstick on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to say goodbye here, but thanks a lot again, Alan. Thank you, Karen.